In the Unova region, there exist two groups of important denizens. The cursed who choose to Nuzlocke, and the Pokemon who bear their suffering. These are their store. You know what? Fish now. I need another party member. Someone that isn't weak to water. Where are we trying to get to? Uh, we're going to be headed up to the second gym soon. Or that town, at least. Which is going to be a normal type, which worked me last time. But first... Wheel of Gotcha, turn, turn, turn. Please, please, for the love of gods, hope this Pokemon don't burn. Slowpoke. Drizzle? Slowpoke. You know what? This might be for the better. Cross fingers. I hate you, game. I gotta stop crossing my fingers. Please, Great Ball, do what you're programmed to do. Capture this Slowpoke. Oh, good! Slowpoke, the dopey Pokemon. Although slow, it's skilled at fishing with its tail. It doesn't feel pain if its tail's bitten. Now to give you a nickname. Hmm. We're fourth. I'll take it. It's something. All right. So the big lottery is what to name you. I'll take a chat suggestion. Because honestly, I've got nothing. It mostly says not too many people are playing this game. Let's go Somno. We finally have four Pokemon. Tembris is no longer an army of one. Though that could change in all of like three seconds, guaranteed, or your money back. Uh, if the first two hours of this goddamn stream said anything, it's... Hi, the game is out to kill you. On the bright side, at least, Wellspring Cave is a decent place for, uh... Somno to train. Because these guys are rock types for the most part. Actually, I want to double check. Hardy nature. That, that, that's twice. Game. That's two Pokemon already with a hardy nature. Really? You're going to dick me like that? I thought I should probably figure out... Yeah, chances are I can't learn any of these. Don't worry about it. And of course, the first Pokemon we encounter is a flying type. I'm not sure if... Somno can manage this one. I might switch over to Foosball. Because Foosball can tank the damage. 
and deal it back and then some. Donk. TM46, Thief. Not a great move. Dragon Gem, kinda eh. I mean, it's something I could sell, but... Would have preferred a rare Pokemon. Pumbloom! Wow, I feel weird for mentioning that. Soak it. Oh, stop crying at me! Yeah, Whisper's a fairly adorable little thing. Unfortunately, the evolutions are very, very loud. Huh! We pretend that never happened. We pretend that never happened. We didn't just almost lose our water type. Definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely not. Maybe it's a bad idea to train in the cave. Damn it. Oh, it's a fan pee. Adorable. Not as adorable. Should be able to take it out with one more water gun. And unfortunately, I lost the chance at the Audino. Well, potential Audino. Could be something else. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't be training Somno here, because electric types. Unfortunately, down here isn't a great place to train. Hey, Lotad, maybe it is. I was expecting, uh, something different. Derp Lotad. Oh, you poor existence. You could have been one of the many backup dancers to one Mirror B, but alas, you're here. Chilling out. Gel some acrobatics. Antidote. That's not helpful, game. Thank you, but that's not helpful. What other encounters are here? Taylo. Um, you may be able to take out the Taylo. Just a quick comparison. Forty power, fifty power. So, in other words, use confusion. You cannot take a punch, though. Let's see here. Who can answer? Probably Tem. Provided this thing doesn't poof out of existence. And it didn't. Good. Flame charge. Done. Mm -hmm. I only have myself to blame. 
I tempted fate. I put a piece of cake out. Said, all right, fate. If you're good, you can have this slice of cake. And fate wasn't good. Fate took the slice of cake anyway. Thanks. Just thanks. Didn't even leave me a note. The least you could have done was say was give a little, tiny little note saying, Oh, thank you for the cake. It was delicious. But no, no. Instead, the only cake I get to see is the, is the butt of the child known as Fate. Gah. Why am I leaving out my water type near an electric type like this? This is a bad idea. Let's rectify that. I'm just gonna have to switch Somno in and out. Unless Somno can take out a fan pee by himself. And even then, probably only one fan pee. Oh good, flail! Oh shit, flail. That could be bad, actually. Oh, never mind, we're good. Because flail is a move that deals more damage the lower the user's HP is. When it's at 1, it's at its most powerful, and I think that's like tr double or triple damage? It's disgusting. Yeah, Cheek, you can handle this, right? Nature Power became Seed Bomb. Oh good, in that case, take it out quick, please. I don't want to deal with- it's the only time I want to deal with exploding seeds is Mystery Dungeon, and even then I'd rather not. Thank you. Actually, come to think of it, a moment to mention something. I'm trying to figure out what game to do next week for the Saturday stream, and I'm officially tied between three options. Option one is I head back into Mag Mammal again, because... Okay, I mentioned it in the Discord, but just in case, I want to mention it here. On a proper stream, just in case. So... You know the commentary style that I tend to run, which is... Which is a bit in places... Mile a minute speech and battery of puns. Yeah. Um. Turns out this con this uh commentary style was inspired by a YouTuber who back in the day did a lot of Mega Man Show Offery videos. You can still find those on YouTube, and they're still something I go back to every so often because it, they're just so well written and funny and interesting. If you ever want to look up the specific YouTuber, their name is Gemini Laser. Alternatively, look up Flashman85. As it turns out, the person is very well ingrained into the Mega Man community, which I already knew. And they happened to see a video that I put out for uh, Make a Good 48 Hour Mega Man level. Back when I streamed that within its opening week. They recently put out a comment saying, they're saying, dude, you're doing really well, you're doing really well with this, it's entertaining watching you. I wish you were talking to more of the NPCs because I wrote the dialogue, hashtag not shameless plug man. And I would totally like to see, like to see you play this again. And that was really moralizing, because again, the person's been an inspiration for me. It was, he was one of the first YouTubers I actually watched growing up. It says a lot that I actually got feedback from him, of all people. So, as a result, 48-hour Mega Man level is on the table at some point. Two... Could dive back into Muck at some point, potentially, because that one's that game is still entertaining, but chances are the next time I dive into it, I may be poking out a mod or two. I'm not sure. And the third option 
is actually... And this one's going to be a bit of a left field stretch. Pokemon Mystery Universe! Because, and I didn't realize it at the time, when I mentioned it previously, it's actually in a public state now. Back when I had originally heard about it a couple years back, it was a very closed alpha, closed beta group that didn't really advertise itself at all, didn't really want... And it didn't really want to put up a name for itself. It still kind of doesn't now, but even then, it does have a proper public face now. It does have proper support that's being given, even events and dungeons that are being run, and it's interesting. And it's taken such... And I decided to take a look at it earlier last night before I went to bed. It was a bit of a hassle trying to get up a, get an account set up because it works on an account based system but when i was able to get it up it was different drastically different from what i'm used to with pokemon mystery dungeon but it was interesting it was fairly unique honestly And as a result, I I did a bit of extra research to double check that they if it would be fine to stream the game. And according to forum posts around 2019, 2020-ish, they said they were fine. So I'm gonna assume that they'd be fine with it. I'd probably like try to notify the, their community, join their Discord at some point if I do decide to do it. I might not for the coming weekend, but. Just in case, that is on the table. That is something I can do, I want to do. Because again, Mystery Dungeon was a big part of my childhood. So yeah, I have options. And specifically, these options are going to be for the upcoming Saturday stream. Because around the week of Christmas, that one's already penned in. That one is guaranteed going to be... Uh, oh shoot, I didn't mean to talk to the trainer. That one's going to guaranteed be Holiday Nog. It's a tradition now. It's a tradition to play Orange Juice around Christmas slash New Year's. Let's see, Foosball should be able to take care of this. Because Blitzel's gonna use an electric type attack. This will be the perfect bait. I called it. Chances are I'll think it over for the entirety of today. I'll probably it'll probably be Magmammal. But in the worst case scenario, I may like uh, set up a poll, uh, poll my Discord, poll uh, anyone who wants to answer on Twitter. Something up, Muffin? Ah, sorry, welcome back. That sounded a little left field from you, huh? For you, huh? Sorry, um, the quick explanation. Try to figure out what to do for the next Saturday stream. Because I have a few different options on the table. One, I, uh... An old childhood inspiration of mine by the name of Gemini Laser contacted me through one of my YouTube videos, said, you're doing really nice work with this, with this, I like how you're, I like your reactions, but please talk to a few more people, please play, please continue playing this. So I want to go back into a 48 hour Mega Man level at some point. I 
have started gimmicking around with Pokemon Mystery Universe because that's now public beta. Slash eternally being run. And it's interesting. I might want to consider poking the poking at it for a stream. They see their community seems to be fine with streaming. I'll probably noty them, just in case. But regardless, that's an option. And the third option would probably be, if not muck, then probably. Uh... I believe it was named Lost Cell. I, I'm trying to remember the name of the game. Shoot. Just, there's this roguelike that I played a while back, and it was really fun and interesting, and I forget what it was. Dead Cells! That was it. Dead Cells. Because it's been a while since I've gotten back into that, and... Well, Dead Cells is fun. It'd also be another opportunity to interact with people, because they also support Twitch, and yeah... But yeah, the most I was saying about that was, worst case scenario, I might, like, uh, pull the Discord, pull Twitter, make a decision. That could also be an option, yeah. That's if I can scrounge up some cash, and I'm not- and I don't know if I can. Like, I could easily see Escapists 2 being something entertaining. Stop! Slapping. My slowpoke. I need this slowpoke. Ah, oh, great. Encored. Well, here's hoping for a crit, or confusion. Three. This is gonna take forever. Four. Five. Six. Done. Oh yeah, definitely. You know the game better than I do, one. And two, Escapists is a pretty good multiplayer game, period. I've seen it played a couple times. There's a uh, YouTube channel I follow who's played it. It's it looks like it looks like absolute chaos. Exactly, chaos. That's just that's just the brand at this point. That's just the brand at this point. Logic, reason, failure, chaos. I'm gonna embrace it at this point. Let's see. Now the big question is, do I fight this trainer? Answer: Sure. Why not? Hello, Masha. You have an adorable fan pee. I hope it lo I hope it wants to take a bath. Because I have stab plus rain supporting this, plus super effective. You get one attack, and you choose roll out. Brilliant decision. Weak. Let's see, Teddy Ursa. Keep battling. At least for one turn, because I'm not sure if you can ha I'm not sure if you can handle the Teddy Ursa, so I'll probably just switch to Tembris. Oh, good for you, Teddy Ursa. You cried. Before you got slapped. Taste beans. Alright, Wismer, so... Keep battling. 
because Wismer is really flail. Flail. Really frail. And Woobat. Yeah, let's give Foosball a shot. I don't think this particular Woobat can lock my Pokemon. So, one Smackdown should do it. Done. There's an item ball over there. Damn it. It's an adorable Taylo. It also uh, wants to peck my eyes out. No, please don't. Alright, great ball. Not bad, not bad. Yet another birdie. Good for you, you could focus your energy before death. Confuse the birdie. Show it pictures of reverse mermen. Reverse mermaids too. <laughs> and if you don't know what that is, yes, it's as you think. <laughs> Unfortunately, you know. Oh, good. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the weird world of cryptids. Ah, crap. 